What's up guys? So really quick before the video starts, I left out one last thing, which was the main reason why I started to make YouTube videos. Now that wasn't because of the fame, I didn't want, not because I wanted to be famous, not because of the money, not for myself. I, want, I decided to make YouTube videos to make other people happy because I want to entertain and uplift anybody that's down, even if it just helps them a tiny bit, even if it's just one person. I want to help anybody out there that's needs something to make them smile or needs something to make them laugh. And yeah, enjoy the video. What's up you guys? So today we're going to be talking a little bit about myself as you can tell by the title of this video. Um, I'm just going to tell you everything like everything you need to know about me. Not really too much stuff that is like not that important. Just about me so you guys can get to know who I am what I'm like and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and get right into the basics. The first thing is my name, my full name, which is Joseph Aaron. It's Aaron with two A's, Zuniga. And um, my mom got the name Joseph from a baby book. I guess there was a baby book with a bunch of names and you, you pick one like that you want as your, like what you think will fit your kid or whatever. That's where I got my name, so it's nothing too original about that. Um, my middle name, I have no clue where my middle name came from. I don't know any relatives with this with the name Aaron or anything like that, so I have no idea where she got that from. And then my last name, of course, from my dad. Well, yeah, that's because that's where everyone gets their last names from, anyways. Um, I was born in Lancaster, California, which is in LA County, and I wasn't raised there. I was raised in a lot of different places. From Lancaster, we were living with. That's where I was born, but we were living with my grandparents in Banning, California. And then um, after maybe a few years there, I was there till maybe not too long, only till maybe about my the end of my kindergarten year. Then we ended up moving to Lucerne Valley, which I'm not too sure where that is now because I wasn't like at an age where I knew like where everything was and stuff like that. I was only in first, like the beginning of first grade when we moved there. But yeah, we moved to Lucerne Valley. It was a really big desert place. There's our house, our neighbor's house, and then a mile walk to the school and maybe like 10 miles to get to the next house or something like that because you couldn't see any, like all you could see from my house was just field. That's it. But um, it was alright out there. We were only out there for like maybe t about two years. No, maybe like one and a half. Was it? No, it was about two years maybe because I left when I finished no, I left about, yeah, partway through my second grade year is when I left. So about a, a year and a half, maybe a little longer. But um, then we moved back to Banning with my grandparents. So I was going to school out there, and that was until I hit fourth grade. Then from fourth grade, my grandparents moved to Salton City. So my stepdad and my mom decided they wanted to live near them because, you know, we really hung out with them a lot. They would take us out places, and we would have a bunch of fun with them. So like, okay, we want to live near them because the kids like them and stuff like that. So they decided, let's move to Salton City too. I lived in Salton City from my fifth grade year all the way up to my freshman year. And my freshman year is when, well, no, probably around my, uh, every year when I was there, I was getting suspended for fighting and stealing from the school, like the book fair and stuff. There's a bunch of stupid shit that, you know, little kids would do and shit like that. But um, anyways, from there... After maybe about five, I think it's five years, because my freshman year, yes, no, it's about four years. Well, it was after the summer, so almost five years. But um, then we moved to Brawley. My grandparents stayed there. No, they moved back to Banning when we moved to Brawley. And um, we were, before we moved to Brawley, we were having family issues, like just between our family, because I caused a lot of problems with other families, you know, with fighting and stealing, you know, all that shit. So um, then my mom decided to date one of my friends brothers and like I mean there's nothing wrong with that because my mom she at the time she was like I think 36 somewhere around there maybe a little younger a little older and then the guy she was dating was also in his 30s I'm not sure how old but I know he was in his 30s so there was nothing wrong with that but then drama happened between them which caused drama between our two families which caused us to having to need to move so we ended up moving then that's when me and my stepdad kept going at it more because before, like, we used to butt heads a lot. 
we would um, always argue over everything. He would always like taunt me and want me to fight and stuff like that. So we got in a few fights. Then when we got to Brawley, we still got in fights. Not as much. We still argued and stuff like that, but not as much fighting. Maybe like two, we got in two fights. But um, then my stepdad, I guess he had a plan to move us to Brawley. Then he would leave and then leave us there. So we were stuck there. He left and went back living with his mom in Banning. So we were stuck there with them. Well, we weren't really stuck there because like we were able to afford everything and stuff like that. But then it got more and more expensive as we got older because my mom had ended up buying more clothes. She had to um to buy more food and stuff like that because she didn't she had to support everything herself and she didn't have a job. Or well, my dad supported all of us, so she had to like try her best to get money together, which led her into getting into drugs because she met the wrong people. And she started. She was already addicted to drugs, like in the past, but she got over it. But now, since she needed money, she would basically try her best to find any way to get money to help her kids as she could. She was trying to do good for us, even if that meant doing bad for her. But then a few years went by. We ended up getting evicted. We got evicted because mainly because of me, because like I said, I was getting in a lot of trouble with cops and stuff like that, especially out there in Brawley. So the cops were always coming to our house. So the people we were renting from. They didn't want all kinds of cops going in that area and stuff like that. Because it was like a, um, uh, what's it called, Section 8 housing where, like, it's not that expensive and it's they're small houses for people that can't afford an actual house and stuff like that. So they didn't want all kinds of cops going through there every, all the time and stuff like that. So we, got, we ended up getting evicted. Then from there, we went and lived with one of our friends. We stayed at their house for maybe... Let's see, it was a year at the first house and staying at our friend's house, which was still in the same city. We were there for about maybe a few months. Then after that, we ended up moving in with another friend. No, we got kicked out of there because they didn't, my mom causing more problems with drugs and stuff like that. Because like I said, she got into it, into the drugs, so she kind of got addicted again. But um, from there, we ended up getting kicked out of there. So we stayed in a hotel for maybe three, four days, and then... We couldn't stay at the hotel anymore because my sisters, they were little, so they made the mess in there and they wouldn't pick it up. So then when they went to, when the house came in there and saw how much of a mess it was, they complained and then we ended up getting kicked out of there. So one of our friends showed up and took us in and we were staying there for the rest of my time in Brawley. So till maybe halfway through my junior year. Then that's when, because I, I got ended up getting on probation. I'm skipping so many things. I ended up getting on probation while we were living at the first house in Brawley, and I got on probation for a really stupid thing, but we'll get into that another time, but I was put on probation for a year, so we were living over there with my mom's friend for when I, till halfway past my through, halfway through my junior year, then after that, I we spent the weekend at my grandma's house because we would spend the weekends there because you know just to go have fun because we would want to spend time with her too even though she was far away. So um, when we spent the weekend there, I told my grandparents, I don't want to live with my mom anymore. I don't want to live in that area. I don't want to live in that house because I was doing bad for myself, which caused problems for me. It caused problems for my family. They ended up getting evicted and stuff because of me. I didn't want to cause problems for anyone else, not even myself. I felt if I moved out of that environment. I would do better for myself and do better for other people too. So I ended up moving in with my grandparents and then that's when my probation officer told me I wasn't allowed to return back to that valley, the Imperial Valley anymore. So I moved to Bandy with my grandparents. They didn't have a big house. It was um, two rooms, but then they ended up adding another room onto it. So it was three rooms, but then there was, because my sisters ended up coming along with me except for two of them because two of them couldn't. So well, actually then, then it was just one of my sisters. But there is, let's see, my grandma, my grandpa, my stepdad, my aunt, then us two, that's six. So um, we had six people, three rooms. It wasn't that bad. My aunt had her room. My grandma shared a room with the two kids. My grandpa, he always slept on the couch. I don't know why. Like, he still does, even though he has his own room. And um, my stepdad, I shared a room with him. So um, that went on for about maybe a year. No, not even a year. Yeah, probably about a year because it was like, Half of my junior, the last half of my junior year, then over the summer, then we ended up moving to San Jacinto, which is where we stay now. And we we got a big house. We don't own it. We just rent it. But it's um, it has now one, two. It has five rooms and four bathrooms. 
So that's plenty of room because I have my two sisters that share a room because they ended up coming with us through CPS, which is another big story I don't want to get into right now. But we have, they share a room. Then we have my stepdad has his own room. My aunt has her own room. My grandparents have their own room, but they like to sleep on the couch. I don't know why. That's just what they choose to do. Then my other sister, she has her own room. Then I have my own room. So it's a, it's a good sized house for how many people are in this family. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been in plenty of trouble throughout my life. Um, a lot of trouble. I mean, I've been in the juvenile hall. I haven't gone to jail, which is good, and I'm not planning on going to jail. Um, I haven't gotten a ticket for driving, surprisingly, because sometimes I drive, I tend to drive like really fast, or once in a while I'll run a stop sign, not on purpose, but only because like I'm not paying attention, and I'm just going, and it's dark, and I can't see it or whatever. But um, I am surprised I haven't gotten at least a speeding ticket, because I'm always speeding. But um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys about me? Um, the kind of music I'm into, as you can tell from my posters, or I have more that go like all the way up the wall, and they go a lot this way, and then a couple, well, it only goes down to as far as this poster, which is like not that far. Then it goes down the wall this way. But I have a lot of band posters, game posters, some of my drawings and stuff like that. I'm into um, like metal music or punk, um, rock, 80s rock. Um, basically anything within those genres that I'll listen to. Only if I like it though, because there's a lot of bands that are in that genre that I don't like. But um, yeah, and I like video games. I'm always playing video games. I have six, yeah, I have six consoles at the moment. I have a Nintendo, which is just the original Nintendo. Let me see. I have it right here. I have the original Nintendo. Then I also have um, the Nintendo 64. I have the Atari, which isn't, it isn't like the original Atari. It's like the, um, what do you call it? It's the Atari Flashback 3. So it's, it has like all the same games and everything. Just doesn't really look the same. And plus all the games are built in, not like the original Atari. <clears throat> but it still has the same type of controllers. The little, here it is. The little like joystick and then the one red button. So it's still, it's still kind of like the same thing except it's like rebuilt. Then I also have the, um. PS1, PS2, and PS3. I'm planning on getting more systems, just that's what I have at the moment. But I still need to get um, some games for my Nintendo. And I need to get the cords for it. One cord for it. Because I have all the cords except for the main power cord. And then I'll be good because I already have everything else for it. And then I'll be working on getting, toward getting other games. Um, I have a lot of favorite things. Like, for example, let's see. My favorite holiday, I would say... Halloween and Christmas. I like Halloween because, I don't know, I just, I just like Halloween. It's just all the horror. Like, I mean, it has to do with horror and stuff like that. I mean, not everyone dresses up like that. But I mean, I just like the fact that you can... And I also like the fact that there's people that, if someone's insecure about themselves, they can just dress them up as whatever they want and no one's going to judge them because it's Halloween. So nobody's going to judge the way you look. Unless it's like there's a contest for it and people are saying, oh, you're not going to win the contest and shit like that. But that's different. Um... Then the other one is Christmas because not the fact, not because I like people giving me stuff because I mean, who doesn't like getting stuff, free stuff from people, but I mean, because Christmas is about giving and I like making other people happy. So me giving the people a gift for Christmas puts a smile on their face and seeing them smile because of something I did for them, it makes me smile. Um, but that's been one of my really main goals in life is being able to make a lot of people smile happy or a lot of people smile like I could be having one of the worst days in the world but as long as I make at least one person happy that day then I'll be happy it's not it's not a tough I mean it's really not a tough thing to do a lot of people do it without knowing it except there's people that like it's more of them being generous than them doing it just to help themselves because there's people that be like oh they're eating chips and someone says can I have some chips yeah you can have some chips that's different than saying oh here's a gift you don't have to give me anything back that's different. But um, anyways, um, I like going to concerts. Um, I'm actually going to one on Monday, which is the 26th of September. And I'm going to be going to see, let me think. I know Ice Nine Kills, Siler. Uh, I know Secrets is going to be there. I'm not sure who else is going to be there. But I will be doing a vlog on that so you guys can you know check it out if you're into any of those bands if you just want to listen to them or if you just want to check it out I'll be doing a vlog that whole day um let me see what else is there I graduated from 
Mountain View High School. I'm already graduated, so I mean, saying my school's not going to affect anything because no one's going to go stalking my school looking for me because I don't go there anymore. But um, yeah, I graduated from Mountain View High School. I have my diploma, not on me right now, it's hanging on my wall, but that's all the way over there. Um, <laughs> let's see, I play the guitar, which my guitar is actually right here. This is my favorite guitar right here. Well, my favorite guitar that I've actually owned. Um, but yeah, I play guitar. I know I play bass. Um, those are some of the things I do, like, on my own time when I need something to do just to keep me, like, occupied. Um, I love to work out. I'm always working out. Um, the first thing I do when I get up in the morning, well, after I take my sisters to school and, not, and all that stuff, I work out. Then, during, around lunchtime, which is around, like, noon, noonish, somewhere around there, I'll go and work out again. Then before I go to bed, well, not, like, right before, maybe, like, Two hours before I go to bed, I go to the gym and work out again. I, I I just love working out because it gives me it gives me something to do and keeps my mind off things that I don't want my mind thinking of. It makes me feel on the out makes me feel good on the outside and on the inside. So um, I also love to skate. Skating has like been one of my big passions for a long time. Um, I don't do more. I don't do a lot of street skating. Like I can't. I won't be able to like just do a flat ground like kick flip or flat ground hard flip or shit like that i'm more of like vert skating like you know the ramps quarter pipes half pipes spines um i can do all the like grab tricks i can do like see the flat ground tricks i'm able to do that too but only but when i'm in the air if i try and do a flat ground i can't do it because i'm not used to it i'm used to you know going down ramps or shooting up ramps and stuff like that which i think is really fun because i love their adrenaline from it and then i also which is pretty obvious i like to make videos too only because, like, one of my passions, like, because I went to, I didn't really have this passion before. It was starting in my 11th grade when I got um, this class. It was for, like, we had to make videos and edit them and stuff like that. So, I like, after the first video we made, I remember, it was about a zombie, it was about a zombie type thing. Like, where we had, a, like, we had people dressed up as zombies and they had to, like, attack us. And we had to, like, record it, make it into, like, a little... Kind of like a short little clip, kind of like a movie, but like really short, like not even like 10 minutes long. But um, but yeah, since then I had a really big passion for making videos, so I figured if I can't make a video to where like it'll be on one of those big screens, because I know I won't be able to do any of that. I, well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I probably will soon, I know I will, but I mean, as a start, I have this, I have whoever's watching this as a, my viewers, and they're also the critics, because they tell me, oh, I don't like how you did this, then okay, I'll fix it. That's just how it works. So I have everyone that watches these videos to tell me what I did wrong and what I did right, or what they don't like and what they do like, what they want to see more of and stuff like that. Um, what else? As for fears, I don't really, like I know a lot of people say I don't have any fears or anything like that. That I know of, I haven't really been afraid of anything except for two things. There's only two things I will not go near, well, I'll go near, but I won't do and that's go on, fly on a plane or go on a boat. Because if I fly on a plane, I'm going to have a huge panic attack because that's really high in the sky. Anything can go wrong and you're dead. It'll just fall out of the sky and you're dead. There's no, no nothing that can really help you guys except for the one guy that landed on the, the river or whatever. But you're just falling from so high in the sky, you're, you're going to die either way. It's not something I want to experience and something I'm planning on not experiencing because I hate planes. I would, it's like a it would be a terrifying experience for me. And same with boats because, I don't know, like I like water. I'll go in water. I'll swim. I, I swam in the ocean before. I've done all of that, but I just won't go on a boat. I don't know if it's, it's not really a small boat, but it's a really big boat. It's like a yacht or like cruises and stuff like that because I don't want, it's a big boat. You could be trapped inside and no way to get out when it's sinking. But yeah, I don't have one of those like really big fears like a lot of people have. Like uh, people being afraid of needles. I can take a needle. If someone comes and gives me a shot, like a doctor's or something like that, I'll sit there and I'll just let them do it and that's it. It won't bother me. Or spiders. I let spiders crawl on me. I'll go and grab a spider, let it crawl on me. The spiders don't affect me. Or even like, just people afraid of bugs. If a bug's crawling on my wall, I'll just grab it and like throw it outside or something. It doesn't scare me. I'm just not... And there's probably more things in that probably do scare me I just haven't experienced them yet or I have and I just don't remember but from what I know of like at this moment those are the only things the only two things I am really afraid of um 
Another thing about me is I like to collect things. Um, I could, well, at the moment, I, I kind of sold all the stuff I was collecting because I needed the money. But I like to collect those little pop vinyl figure things. Um, I don't think I have any more to show. But um, they're like the little figures. They can be of a game character or a show character, a movie character. It could be anything. But it's like, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, I collect those. Then I collect keychains. Um, I have these. I, the ones I collected, I have this like little Pikachu one. I have this one that looks like a, um, a little like cell thing from the Terminator. Then I also have um, this little Batman one that has like a screwdriver on. It's like the bat symbol. Then it also has a screwdriver. It has um, a bottle opener. It's like a multi-tool type of thing. Then I also have um, uh, what is it? I also have this little one that's like. From a character from an anime, this anime right here, Attack on Titan. I have a little character from that on a keychain. But yeah, I have a lot more too. But yeah, I like to collect keychains too. I don't know why it's just something I do. And then posters, I like to collect posters, which is as you can see, I have a lot of posters. But I only like to collect posters because I want to cover my whole like all my walls just covered in posters, like where you can't see the wall at all. Uh, I just think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I like to draw. I do draw a lot. Like I have. Here's a few things I've drawn. Drawn, it's like just some simple stuff, and then I drew this hand, which came out pretty crappy. But um, yeah, I I draw a lot. Just I don't usually put my drawings up on display like that, or I won't really show people my drawings. I'm like more of a drawing for myself type of person. I don't draw for uh, really for other people. That's basically it. Those are like the main things about me that I can think of. So. If you guys want to know any more, just let me know in the comments. You can ask me a question. and um, Or if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos of what I do, or just more video. If, if you want more videos of me, like, you know, just talking to you guys, telling you a story about myself, or telling you any story, or just, um, or more of those gameplay videos I do, or whatever, just make sure you leave a like, and you subscribe for more. And that's it, so I'll see you guys next time.